me on Boy, but that's about it Hello, hello, Pinkie Pies. How are you guys doing? It's been literally forever. It's been like a month. So let's dive in. How are you? Really? Wow. Well, I hope, I really hope everything works out. Well, I, on the other hand, I'm having a pretty great day. I decided to finally film and it's a thunderstorm all day. So I apologize for if you hear rain and thunder in the background of my video. I know, right? My day off, my one day off, it's raining. It's hard too, like. But in today's video, we are going to be um, looking at and reviewing and trying the brand new, I don't know if they're new, the brand new <laughs> Real Techniques um, limited edition brush crush set and some Stila lip, I said lip toppers, Stila liquid eyeshadows and the Babe in Paradise highlighter palette from Bretman Rock and Morphe. I missed you guys so much and if you want to stay up to date, please don't forget to subscribe. Right there. A little bit of nail cam for you before we get in. I'm doing a lot of yellow lately. I'm so glad to be back. Like, so glad to be back. Oh my god, I miss you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, become a Pinkie Pie, subscribe, and I'll see you later. All right, I ordered me some pizza, and let's get into this review. Um, first things first, I got a new camera, so you better be looking cute. My phone ring. Um, first things first, I'm going to look up Real Techniques and see what these brushes are supposed to be doing. Like, what are they about? Who came up with this? Is it like a collaboration? Have these not even on the website? They're not even on the website. They're not on Ulta's website either. Okay, I'll just do this. Um, real technique. Brush, brush. Okay, I found it on Google. Oh, these are from Christmas? <laughs> I am so late. So they're not new. <laughs> I suck at YouTube. Oh my god. Like I am so bad at this. So, <laughs> so these brushes are from Christmas. So <clears throat> I feel like everyone either has them or knows about them, but I don't care. We've already started. Whatever. So I brought but ugh, brushes 301, which is the foundation brush. I bought brush 302 for blush. Brush 303 for contour. 304 is their fan brush. And I bought two 305 shadow brushes. I opened one already because I was impatient. But I think it's really cute. I love the detailing of the glitter. You know, glitter is everything. And um, also, they are flat. 
Like they have actual like corners and they're not just like regular old brown brushes. So when you hold it, it's like a pencil. So you get a little bit better. What? I'm so mad these are from Christmas because <laughs> I was so excited to show these to you. Like why haven't I seen them during Christmas? I haven't seen them until like literally last week. Literally. I'm so pissed off. <laughs> what? Okay, so whatever. We're just gonna push through, guys. Push the hell through. It says new on the website. I'd be really pissed if these really are from Christmas. Like somebody tell me, are these from Christmas? Okay. I'm gonna open up my foundation brush. On the back, oh my, I'm gonna break the nail. On the back it says, own your complexion with the 301 foundation brush. Rounded cut, easily buffs creams or liquids. And these are called the Brush Crush Collection. Okay, although this brush is hella huge, it's still it's cute. It is like flat on the sides. Like up here, it's round. But right here, it's like super flat. I don't even see rigid parts. So this is a huge brush. Um, normally, for my foundation, I also use Real Techniques. I use their Expert Face Brush. And if this is dirty, I use their oval foundation brush. So I'm not new to real techniques. However, I figured this huge thing, it feels so good, would be like overkill. Like, okay, so it's really huge. Like, it's the size of my eyeball. But, um, <laughs> it's so annoying. Um, so, so far, so good. <laughs> what am I even doing right now? Okay, so on the website, it says, Brush Crush is engineered for performance, but designed to be Instagrammable. Like our latest lipstick shade, this crush isn't here to stay. It's limited edition, designed with Sam and Nick, and inspired by the latest holographic pastel and glitter trends. Brush crush, hashtag. Um, so, I use Fenty Foundation. I was going to get the um, Beauty Bakery Cake Mix, and my wife is usually really, really good at picking out my... Um, foundation shades and things like that and telling me if it matches. I'm really bad at it. My wife is actually really good at it and she doesn't wear makeup so it's really funny. But um, she told me that there isn't a shade that would match me. So I'm wondering if I should spend the money and get the entire collection anyway. Because I wanted to get the eggs the egg sponge things and I wanted to get the concealer so I can use everything together and they also have a waterproof mascara beauty bakery not kind of for everybody so I want to try that and see how that works so I have on my Too Faced primer as always and I'm gonna go in with my foundation so like what have you guys been up to like, honestly, I've just been recovering from my b bad decisions. And I'm trying to, like, not be fat anymore. Ooh, more nothing. Like, this feels nice. Like, I ordered pizza just now. 
and I'm like complaining that I'm fat, but I'm not. Like honestly, I weigh 145 or 148 last time I checked, which was recently, so I'm not happy about it. And then I was doing like the gym and so this feels really good. It's just, I feel like it's eating my foundation. So like, I've been going to the gym and trying, oh, it sheds. Ugh. Can you guys hear the rain though? But I've been trying to go to the gym and like live my little life. And I'm one of those people that gets bored really quickly. So if I'm like in a routine, constant like routine, I am super bored, I need to change up and I get upset. And then I don't wanna do it anymore. Just exactly what happened. But going to the gym, like, <laughs> like one of my favorite YouTubers is Jasmine, Jasmine Sus, Jasmine Gonzalez whatever you guys call her. <laughs> this foundation that I hear. And I just love her motivational posts. I love her fitness stuff. And when she posts a picture, I'm like always like super like envious. Like, why don't I look like that? And it's because she's dedicated and I'm not, so. And I don't want to do the tease anymore. When I first started um, trying this weight, I used to do the flat semi tea and it tastes like shit. Sorry, mom. And it was gross. Okay, we're back in business because we're all. I was looking kind of crazy. So I also picked up these two magnificent medals from Stila. This one is called Sea Siren and I swatched it and it was beautiful and I loved it. I hate when it doesn't come with the box the first time. Shaking it, shaking it. Look at how pretty is it focused? Look at how pretty that is. And then I picked up, this one was my favorite. It's called Into the Blue. And I'm gonna swatch it for you guys so you can see how freaking beautiful they are. Oh my God. So you can obviously see which one is blue and which one is the pink. I'm so bad at this. Oh my god. Break my wrist. And that is um concealer on my hand because I'm putting all my eyes. So for the purple eyes, maybe this side, I'm gonna go in with the 305 brush. I'm sorry, Victoria's Secret. I wish I was a student. So it picks up product really well. Now, got all the mirrors everywhere. Let's see. This is so perfect. And like I was saying earlier about this brush, the way that it's the handle is made, it's so perfect because you get to Move it exactly the way you want. With like no surprises. Oh yes. I mean it really helps that this palette is extremely pigmented and amazing. So. Oh, yes. 
is so pretty. And I just started. Can you hear me? This is so pretty. Big yourself up, babies. Big yourself up. So I'm going to take the other one. And... Ooh. Now, I was going to pull out my... Um, no, it doesn't matter. So, do I have another palette with a really nice blue in it? That's one thing. I don't have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Why that purple though? Let me keep packing. The storm has me like all the way messed up. Like, I haven't recorded in a month and you want to be thundering now. It's cute. It's a look. No. <laughs> I honestly feel like I'm on YouTube to laugh at my own jokes. So that was the purple shade from the Zulu palette. The Zulu palette doesn't have like names on the shades. However, I'm taking the Masquerade Mini and I'm using the shade Dahlia. It's blue. Oh. What? And I'm just gonna go with the same like. This feels so comfortable. Like. Like using this brush is super comfy because I am in complete control. Like, what? Like the way that I'm in control of this brush is so amazing. I should go back and get more. Like, I knew the eyeshadow brush would be my favorite. <laughs> Pizza's here. I got my pizza. Crazy thing is, my daughter hasn't heard the... Like, she's on her little phone. So she didn't even hear the man come and uh, drop the pizza off. But when she walks out into the living room and sees there's pizza, her entire head is going to explode. My kid loves pizza. Like, loves pizza. So. And I'm not going to edit that out either. Y'all don't see me running for the pizza man. <laughs> Put my pajama pants on. And he's like, um, I like what you've, what you've done. And I'm saying all the things. Like a freaking clown. Very nicely. Again, 
again, I'm not really sure what I'm looking out for. called botched. That's where I need to be right now. Oh, my nose. It's so crazy. I am not James Charles. I'm going to take the um, the blush brush and I'm actually going to use it for powder. The powder brush that they did have at the store was bigger than the foundation brush. And I'm like... Why? Why? So I'm gonna use this. Whoa! It picks up a lot. My Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 30, medium deep. So I like to use powder that's closer to my color rather than like the yellow powder or like the translucent powder, translucent, translucent powder because it honestly just makes me white and I can't get away with being white, sorry. Okay, moving on, I guess I'm going to use Mahu with the um, Real Techniques fan brush. I believe it's number four. It reminds me. I put so much on. It reminds me just a tad of King Tut very creamy, very smooth going on. I don't know that, but you see this happen. Oh, that is so much, girl. Why is he playing yourself like this? It reminds me of King Tut. I like it. And I'm gonna take the shade vacation for my nose. See your girl loves a nail highlight. I feel like not doing your makeup for a long time literally messes with you because now I feel like I'm so bad at this. Like I feel like I look absolutely ridiculous. Maybe with it. I don't like this con I mean on camera I don't like the contour. I feel like in real life it actually looks fine. I hate like being like this. I don't even have eyelashes on. Oh good. Let me fix my hair and I'll come back fully done with thoughts and comments and concerns about the brushes, the highlighters, and the magnificent metals. All right, Pinkie Pies, this is the last of it all. Lashes on, setting spray, highlight. So, um, for the most part, I feel like today's overall video went pretty smoothly. Um, as far as the brushes go, um, I'm not the biggest fan of the foundation brush. However, um, I might give it another try because I do use Real Technique brushes, but this one is just extremely huge and just kind of uh, obnoxious. Obnoxious. 
this is big for no reason. You don't need this much of a brush for foundation like, at all. Uh, the powder brush is one of my favorites. I'm, well, it's a blush brush, but it is now my powder brush and it's one of my favorites and I will be using this more. Uh, the fan brush, I feel like fan brushes do what they do. It's very tiny, very soft. Look at that. Super good. I love it. Uh, the contour, br contour brush, however, I'm not the biggest fan of maybe I just don't know how to do contour correctly. Maybe I just feel like the lines are a bit too harsh, um, but I bought it. I will be using it and maybe I'm just doing it wrong. If I am, then I will practice and make it work. Um, my favorite brushes out of the entire collection are the little eye brushes. They were amazing. They are super, like, I love it. Like, I love it. Like, just the way the brush handle is made entirely makes the difference. Like, so good. So good. I will be using these all the time. All the time. Um, when it comes to the Magnificent Metals from Stila, um, I feel like the pink is extremely light. Um, when I swatched it, it had like a hint of blue to it. Maybe with the blue eyeshadow, it wasn't smart to do. But I feel like I wish I could have seen more of it. Um, the pink is just like, it's alright. However, Into the Blue is great. I love it. The blue is so pretty and the contrast of it with the purple eye is so good. Um, adding a pop of yellow was a great idea. I'm super excited I did it. Um, the Babe in Paradise uh, highlighter, however, I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. It's just I have really biased opinions when it comes to highlighters because my favorite highlighters of all time are the Lime Crime Highlight Opals palette. It's just so amazing and so bright and so pigmented. Um, I just probably need to play around more with the Babe in Paradise, but I am very proud of Bretman. Um, I love what he's doing with Morphe, and I love to see like collabs. Like those are my favorite kind of products to buy because it's not just a um, company putting things out. It's like influencer input, and it's appreciated because they're listening to their subscribers, their fans, their supporters whatever they may call it, the um, people that follow them and um, I'm very proud of them. I'm so glad to be back. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me this ridiculous video. Um, I feel like it's not my best but I did miss you guys so much and I will be putting out more and more as the days go by. I will try to get back to my regular schedule programming Monday, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So look out for a room tour 2.0 on Monday at about 3 p.m. It's in the works. You guys haven't seen it since it's been redone. And I'm so excited to show you. But um, thank you, my loves. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Follow me if you do not. Um, most of my social media is pink with two eyes. Instagram is P-I-I-N-K-6 underscores I'm extra I know and um, Facebook is P-I-I-N-K Mexolse just like here and I can't wait to see you guys <laughs>